Welcome back to the class 8 physics. Myself Zainab Pohari and we are going to continue today our 5th chapter light energy. So let us begin with the refraction of light through a rectangular glass slab. So here light ray falls on a glass slab. This is the glass slab PQRS and the light which is falling on the surface of the glass and air is AB. The B is the point of incidence where we have drawn here the normal NBM. Here the light is coming from the rare medium to the dense medium. So it will bend toward the normal and it will move across the path BC. Here you can notice the angle formed due to the incident light ray AB and the normal that is ABN. This is the angle of incidence. The light ray moves forward from B to C path inside the glass slab. Its speed gets slower down. Further, the light ray moves out from the glass slab into the air that is the denser medium to the rarer medium. And here the speed of light gets increased. The light ray which is coming out from the glass slab is the CB. It is called as emergent ray. The point C at that we will draw the perpendicular and it is nothing but the normal N dash C M dash. And here if you will notice the angle which is formed D C M dash. So it is the angle of emergent. So overall if you will look carefully you will observe the light ray gets refracted twice into the glass slab. The first when it is inciding into the glass slab and the second when it is emerging out from the glass slab. Incident light ray, refracted light ray. Then this light ray when travels out from the glass lab, then this is the light ray BC which is the incident ray and the light ray which is coming out from the glass lab is the emergent light ray. If you will extend the both light rays AB and CD, you will notice they both are parallel to each other. So here we can say that emergent ray CB is parallel to the incident ray AB and if you will look their direction then the direction of both the light ray is same. That is incident ray AB is moving to the path BC and emergent ray CD is moving across the path CD over here out from the glass slab. The direction is same and they both are parallel to each other. The difference you can notice over here that with respect to light ray which is inciding inside the glass slab AB and the emergent light ray CD, the light ray CD is laterally displaced from the path of AB. It is laterally displaced. So this is how the light travels into the rectangular glass slab. Let us view a small animation. A light ray falls on a rectangular glass block. It undergoes refraction. You will notice that the light ray changes its direction twice at the surface separating the two transparent media. The light ray EO 
bends towards the normal when it enters the denser medium, which is glass, from the rarer medium, which is air. At O dash, the light ray leaves the glass and enters into the air. Here, the light ray moves away from the normal. EO is the incident ray, OO dash is the refracted ray, and O dash G is the emergent ray. AB and DC are parallel surfaces. So, the angle N dash, O, O dash, which is the angle of refraction R, is equal to the angle O, O dash M. Also, the angle of incidence I is equal to the angle of emergence E, according to the principle of reversibility of the path of a light ray. Thus, the emergent ray O dash G is parallel to incident ray EO. Note that the incident ray is displaced from its path by distance XY. This displacement is referred to as lateral displacement. Now we will discuss refraction of light through prism. Dear students, a prism is a transparent medium bounded by five plane surfaces with a triangular cross section and the two opposite surfaces of prism are identical and parallel triangles while the other three surfaces are rectangular and inclined on each other. Let us see over here a prism A, B, C. Now how the light falls and passes under the refraction. So here in the prism ABC a ray of light PQ of a single color falls on the surface AB of the prism and this is called as incident ray. Dear friends keep in note this ray is entering from air to glass that is from a rarer medium to a denser medium. So, it bends towards the normal. Let us draw the normal and the bent light ray. And here is the normal NQM to the face AB. You can notice over here the inclined light ray PQ and the normal is making an angle of incidence. That is angle PQN, incident angle or angle of incidence. Now this light ray PQ enters from air to the glass that is rarer to the denser medium. So it bends toward the normal. It bends towards the normal and travels along the path QR at the face AC of the prism where another refraction occurs of the light ray. This light ray QR is now moving toward the face AC of the prism.
the ray qr now enters from glass to air that is from a denser medium to a rarer medium so here it bends away from the normal the second refraction light ray bends away from the normal n dash r m dash that is the second normal to the face ac of the prism and it travels to the path rs this is the emergent light ray note dear student the emergent light ray comes from the denser to rarer medium it bends away from the normal n dash r m dash to the face ac and it travels along the rs and due to this the angle formed between the normal and emergent light ray is the angle of emergence that is angle s r n dash and angle of emergence thus on passing through a prism the light ray bends toward the base of the prism and on extending the emergent ray and incident light ray here an angle is formed and this angle is the angle of deviation of the light ray means the inciding light ray gets deviated by this angle angle of deviation we can define as the angle between the original incident ray and the emergent ray on comparing you can note this the emergent ray through a prism is not in direction of the incident ray but it bends towards the base of the prism because in prism refraction occurs at two inclined surfaces on the other hand in a rectangular glass block refraction of light occurs at two parallel surfaces so the emergent ray is in direction of the incident ray but it is laterally displaced let us move to the last topic of this video that is dispersion of white light if the white light is passed through a prism it splits into the different colors this is called dispersion of light beam of light will slow down at the boundary of glass and air and will bend the bending will depend on wavelength of rays the red light with the long wavelength will refract less while the violet light will refract most which is of the shortest wavelength therefore the refractive index mu of a transparent medium is also different for the light of different colors since refractive index is equal to speed of light in air upon speed of light in medium so the refractive index of medium is maximum for the violet light and minimum for the red light therefore when light enters a prism it splits into its a constituent colors while refraction at the first surface of prism this colors get farther separated from each other on a refraction at the second surface of prism dear students do you know in a rainy season sometimes after the rains you see rainbow in the sky just opposite the sun it is due to the dispersion of white light of sun by rain drops which behaves like prism here prepare the simple project here we will stop the remaining topic we will study in the next coming series of offline videos till then complete your project have a good day